To write the balanced net ionic equation for Pb plus CuNO3 2, we first have to balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, and it's already balanced, so that's kind of nice. Next, we write the states for each substance. That'll look like this. If you know your solubility rules, compounds with the nitrite ion, this NO3, are very soluble. So both the copper 2 nitrate and the lead 2 nitrate, they'll be soluble, dissociate into their ions. Lead, just lead by itself, is a solid, and copper by itself, that's also a solid. So we have the states. Next, we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that'll give us the complete ionic equation. That looks like this. So this is the balanced complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So this is our reactants, and then down here we have our products. So I can see that in the reactants, the only thing, I have this two nitrates here, and then they repeat in the products. So the only thing that's the same on both sides, these two nitrates. Everything else is different. So this is our net ionic equation for Pb plus CuNO3 2. Let's remove the spectator ions. And this is our balanced net ionic equation. You can see that the atoms are balanced and that charge is balanced. We have this 2 plus here in the reactants. In the products, we have a 2 plus. So the charge is the same on both sides as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Pb plus CuNO3 2. Thanks for watching.